a chapter a day to brighten your way. Not just a place of refuge, but a place of acceptance. Hello, friends. Let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Joshua chapter twenty. Do you still remember the cities of refuge? In Deuteronomy nineteen, we read about the refuge cities in detail. They mainly protected people who had committed manslaughter, giving them a place to live where they could avoid retaliation. The generation led by Joshua probably didn't know much about this system, so today we will see that God once again commanded Joshua to set up refuge cities all throughout Canaan. Let's read chapter twenty together. Joshua, chapter twenty. Then the Lord said to Joshua, "Say to the people of Israel, appoint the cities of refuge of which I spoke to you through Moses, that the manslayer who strikes any person without intent or unknowingly may flee there. They shall be for you a refuge from the avenger of blood. He shall flee to one of these cities and shall stand at the entrance of the gate of the city and explain his case to the elders of that city." Then they shall take him into the city and give him a place, and he shall remain with them. And if the avenger of blood pursues him, they shall not give up the manslayer into his hand, because he struck his neighbor unknowingly and did not hate him in the past. And he shall remain in that city until he has stood before the congregation for judgment, until the death of him who was high priest at the time. Then the manslayer may return to his own town and his own home, to the town from which he fled. So they set apart Kedesh in Galilee, in the hill country of Naphtali, and Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. And beyond the Jordan, east of Jericho, they appointed Bezer in the wilderness on the tableland, from the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead, from the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan, from the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities designated for all the people of Israel and for the strangers sojourning among them, that any one who killed a person without intent could flee there, so that he might not die by the hand of the avenger of blood, till he stood before the congregation. Praise be to God. Even in different generations, His mercy always remains the same, protecting everyone. If you know Jesus. Then I'm sure that the establishment of the cities of refuge easily reminds you of Him. The refuge cities didn't just provide shelter; they were also a place of reacceptance. People could learn new skills and start a new life after hiding in the refuge cities. It's like how we've made mistakes, but we are now accepted under Jesus' protection and given a new life. Let's come to Jesus again today without fear. Don't worry. Trust that His hands are always open to welcome you. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for accepting me, protecting me, and forgiving me for all my sins. I too will live a new life under your wings. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.